Maybe I'm blind, maybe I'm blind Oh, I couldn't see you shine And shimmer right in front of my eyes Front of my eyes, oh no I remember when that Restless Heart came on It was one of the, I just knew you were a solid artist And I thought, I need to get whatever else he has And that's when I was introduced to Honey, Let Me Sing Your Song Okay And so, I know there was a little bit of a gap From when Restless came out to when the world is ours tonight, but the world is ours, but tonight we can't pretend. You had to read the first time. This world won't last forever, but tonight we can't pretend. <laughs> Such a long title, but I, you, I, when that was when, when that came out, I mean, I know you had an EP, and so that yeah. held me over for a little bit when that CD came out. I was mm -hmm. so excited because it's such good music. Yeah, it was like because Restless Heart came out, I think October, November of 2012, and then. The album came didn't come out till August of 2013, which can happen sometimes yeah. with labels and stuff and waiting on yeah. them to put out your music. So but it came out. And <laughs> it I was, came out. Yeah, I that's the most important thing. <laughs> <laughs> and so through all of this, I know with working with artists, one of the coolest things I found out was that you worked with Sarah Bareilles. Mm -hmm. How, what was that like? It was cool. So the the guy that produced pretty much everything I put out when I was on Atlantic. His name's Eric Ross. He's awesome. Love the dude. We're still friends. Um, but he produced Sarah Bareilles' first record, and it was, around, it was soon after that that we made um, my first record together. Mm -hmm. And we were working on it, and sort of like we were writing some songs for the album together also, and he just had the idea to like bring Sarah in, and we'd work on a song together. And we ended up writing a song called um, You in the End, that's on that record together and she ended up singing like the background vocals on it and stuff so it's, it's pretty awesome she's great awesome songwriter and really really cool too that's cool because you all seem that you would mesh really well your sound mm -hmm. would be really good together and i've heard that song it's an incredible song thank you yes and uh, so that's so much so many great things that have led you to today yeah and i mean your future is so bright because uh you're signing with uh south by sea mm -hmm. and i am th that's exciting tell us about that I, yeah, so they kind of, I, all of last year, I was, like, at the beginning of last year, I parted ways with Atlantic, and I was just doing everything completely independent last year, and it was good, I feel like, I was talking to somebody about this yesterday, that I feel like the six years that I was on Atlantic, and everything, I, all the touring I did, and everything, like, prepared me to do the independent thing really well, and I feel like it was a, a good year for me, but... Also doing everything myself, I got a little burnt out, so I'm really pumped to have other people <laughs> to work with again and to be able to sign with this label. And it's cool for me because mm -hmm. some of the guys like worked with um, this this label called Doghouse Records that a lot of the bands that I listened to, like when I was starting out as a musician, were on that label. So it's kind of like this cool connection oh, that, that cool. I'm kind of into. <laughs> that is really cool. And you have, you know some shows coming up, some mm -hmm. tours. Where, where are you going? Where, where do, what's this tour? What's the tour going to look I'm like? Going, I'm going a little bit of everywhere over the next couple of months. I'm going up to like the Northeast and then the Northern Midwest and then down through like Texas and stuff. And I'll be doing some Southern stuff too. So pretty much everything that's mapped out right now, pretty much everywhere except the West Coast at this point. But I'm sure I'll be hitting the West Coast before long too. Yeah, and it'll be like you... You're in Nashville, but you'll be touring so much, it'll be, you'll have to read. It's not. It's awesome being in Nashville because I can tour, I don't have to, like living in Florida, when I booked a tour, it kind of had to be at least two or three weeks to make sense because it takes so long to get out of Florida right. and then to go around to all these places, but being in Nashville, it's so central to a lot yeah. of like big cities that I can go out for a week and come back home for a week and then go out another week and come back home, so that's really cool for me. That is cool. And you have some things to tie people over until the new music comes out because mm -hmm. you released your EP, Heart Heartache or Heart Heart Heartache Machine. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry. That one's shorter. Heartache yeah. Machine. <laughs> and uh, and so and then your other EP, which was uh, Red Eye. Mm -hmm. So those are gonna tie us over. So what is next for you as an artist? Um, I'm gonna be recording a song with South by Sea next month and we're gonna kinda put that out before to kind of lead up to the full length record that we're doing together probably recording that like in uh in the summer or something that's great and mm -hmm. so then we'll hopefully be a place where you can come back by and release that music yeah definitely right. I'm, I'm really excited about the new record mostly because i'm i'm excited about i've been writing a lot lately especially since i've been here in nashville because um 
I have a good like solid group of songwriter friends and we like share music and stuff a lot so it's inspired me to write more and I really like what I've been writing lately so I'm excited to see what this next record is going to be like. Well that's exciting. I know I'm excited so I know the people watching <laughs> will be excited but thanks for coming by today yeah, and definitely. you're going to perform a song so we're excited and that'll be on the CBEX.com for everyone to watch. Great. Thank you so much man. Thank you. Until another experience, Matt Hires, Chris Berkman, signing out. So honey, let me sing you a song And listen to my words as they come out wrong But don't run away, run away this time And honey, let me look in your eyes